Holy cow, plants! You guys, it's more Sim stuff! More Sim stuff! Didn't we just get Sim stuff like every single month over the past few months? I was just showering new items and things for my Sims to do. I can't even keep up, but I'm so excited because this one is totally up my alley, you guys! It is The Sims 4, my first pet stuff pack. Oh my gosh! If this is going to be what the dancing hamster that they had on The Sims Twitter yesterday indicated, then I am so excited! I am so excited and already somewhat confused because we are here in Brindleton Bay. But alright guys, let's do this. We are going to go through the My First Pet Stuff trailer together and then we're going to pick it apart and see every little detail that they might be giving us if, um, if that dancing hamster was anything to indicate. So let's do this. You guys ready? We're diving on in. Come on. All right. Come on, Brindleton Bay. <laughs> you can do it. There we go. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do you own The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs? Yes, I do. Get ready for more. The Sims 4, my first pet. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh. A hamster. Hedgehog. What? <laughs> what was that? Was that the little, the little thing that they have? Oh my gosh. It just her. I have had that happen a few times. <gasps> you guys, look at that coffee table. Oh my gosh, and the kitten. Okay, that's a really cool hat, actually. Look at all of this. Wait, what's happening? What? <laughs> oh my goodness. Care for a new pet. Dress your cats and dogs. Decorate with pet prints. Oh my gosh, guys. All right. Let's do this. All right, so let's go through this again and pick apart everything that we can. I think it's interesting. We start in Brindleton Bay, and I think that puppy is wearing the banana outfit, which is definitely new. And I think this little... <gasps> Look at the long cat pillow, you guys. And is that a new fish tank? I don't think that's a new fish tank, but is that a new fish tank? That might be a new fish tank. And that is definitely... Wait, is that a new end table? No way. I don't think I recognize that end table the TV is on. Hold on. There's a lot more here that's new than meets the eye at first. The paintings, cat outfit, that end table. I want that end table so bad. It's so pretty. It doesn't look like it has fish either, which makes me happy because it's probably too small for anything but guppies. Uh, but it looks like it might be a great like coral, coral coffee table. I will totally be behind that. I am 100% happy with that. And look at the long cat pillow. That is an awesome pillow. <laughs> I wish, I wish, I wish I had a pillow like that to donate to our local cat cafe, which adopts out rescue cats. That is just so cute. And I think those curtains are new. Already, there's a lot more here than meets the eye uh, that is new. And I think if you look to the left and the right, my observant friends, there are new outfits on the dogs in the background. And I'm pretty sure that this astronaut outfit is new, but I'm a little embarrassed to admit that I don't know off the top of my head. However, if so, it does make me very excited because I do plan on doing a not so alien, not so berry spinoff, and this would definitely fit the bill in keeping our furry companions well dressed and ready for action. So I do like that. I'm not really huge into pet costumes, but it's a fun perk to kind of have on the side that you could possibly play with with your pets, or should I say possibly really drag out those puns. All right. So yes, I do indeed own The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Trust me, it's been a fantastic addition to my life. It's definitely kind of like toddlers where once you start playing with it, I don't really remember life before. Uh, it definitely adds so much more life. <gasps> my first pet stuff, here it comes. That looks like a hamster to me. Oh my gosh, okay. This is so ridiculously cute. So already we have a whole bunch of new stuff. The wall decal, hang on, let's see if we can get this wall decal all put together. That is so cute! Look at that cute little wall decal with all the tubes! Those are actually not very good for your real life hamsters, just FYI. However, that is why I'm personally extremely excited about this huge setup that they have. Look at the size of this hamster slash rat! Because I'm pretty sure I saw a rat slash little purple thing with a platypus beak, which was adorable thing. This is adorable, and it's really big, and this is actually much more realistic and much more aligned with what 
that you should have for your real life hamsters too. So that thrills me that they're not going with the tiny little hamster cages from The Sims 2. They have upgraded to a much healthier and better option of exploration for the little animals. Look at that. So that thrills me as a educator and an animal activist. But look at the strawberry. <sighs> The little hamster chair is eating a strawberry. That is so cute. And there's little strawberries. I love the wall decals. I'm not really a wall decal person in real life, but I have to say the Sims 4 wall decals definitely add a great way to fill up space and an extra little touch to, especially my Sim kids, little, little rooms. Like, look at this. This whole room is for an animal lover. I can completely get behind that. It looks like we have, <gasps> is this a new art table? We have a new art table. That's so cute. And we've got a new pet sleeping spot. It looks like two new pet beds. I love this lamp with the ears. That is just so adorable. And a little curtain right over here. Fantastic. Awesome little desk right over in the corner. Pretty sure that's new too. Pretty darn sure. Not the, the clutter pieces, but the desk pieces themselves. This little bookshelf is so cute. I need to like remake a ton of really adorable elementary schools that I can send my little sim kids off to. And actually, I'm looking at this cork board down here, and I wonder if you could do something with this cork board. Like, can you take pictures with your camera of like your little your little hamster or maybe your cat, and you could put it on the cork board over here? Because that would be really fun. I bet even if you couldn't do that as like a gameplay feature, you could probably do that just with move objects on, no problem. Because that's a really useful little spot just to put pictures of your pets or whatever you want. And what do we have down here? It's a cute little rat. Look at him go. And a hamster, or excuse me, a hamster. That's a hedgehog, Siri. <laughs> A cute little hedgehog, which is so adorable. Then we've got this thing. What is this thing? What is this thing other than utter perfection? It's purple and it looks like a ram and a, a guinea pig and a platypus all had a baby. And so it's my favorite thing. I want it. I want it. I want a plushie of it. Are they selling plushies of this in the Sims 4 merch store yet? Because I would totally buy that. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I want it. I wonder what you eat, little thing. And then the hamster. Now, I do know this is a hamster and not a guinea pig because guinea pigs should never be in the swirly diddly do little runners like that. But let's see. I think this is where the girl is going to pull up the hamster to sniff sniff him and he's going to chomp right on her sniffer. So... <laughs> He, he didn't apparently like how she was handling him uh, and he definitely gave her chomp or her sniffer a good chomp with his chomper. Uh, you gotta learn how to be gentle and respect the pets, I suppose. And then what do we have over here? All right, first thing I noticed because I am me and you guys are probably gonna laugh about this are that there look to be some tulips outside of, wait, that bay window. <gasps> guys, look at this, look at this. I can already hear, I can hear. Just in the distance, the cries of the builders, because I'm pretty sure that we have not yet had a build your own bay window piece, a little like nook window to sit and read in, as this couch. I'm betting you can only use the middle part of this couch, but this is a couch you can sit on in a very unique, like it's pretty much only made to go in this kind of corner. That is so cool. Look at that. I'm sure the builders are going to absolutely love that. And I'm sure the tulips are already in the game. I just need to go tulip hunting. Hmm. Hmm. But all right, let's let a few more of the pieces slide on in and admire what we have to look at. I can see what appear to be a new pet bowl down in the bottom left. And then we've also got a mirror, a brand new kitty cat mirror with little kitty cat clouds. That's so cute. And a new pet dispenser, a new little pet toy dispenser. Uh, I have, oh, look, it's the little purple thing. <gasps> it's rolling on its back, you guys. It's terribly hard to see. You have to kind of squint and trust me, but it looks like the little purple platypus ran guinea pig baby is rolling on its back in a little dust bath. <gasps> That's so cute. Uh, too bad they weren't able to add chinchillas in. That would have really, really been so cool. Uh, and then I love these chairs. <laughs> these are ridiculously cute chairs. If these had existed when I was a child, I would have been thrilled to pieces. And it looks like there's several new cat condos and cat hangouts for the cat wearing the same outfit as the toddler. That is adorable. I'm pretty sure these chairs are new. The, the like, cat ear shaped chairs and I'm pretty sure this couch over here is new it's it looks to be the same one that had the long cat pillows earlier we've got a litter box right over here everything here just makes me want to build like a play
play place for pets and for kids. This is just completely off the charts, cute play pet, play place sort of aesthetic. And I, this coffee table, I want this coffee table. I want this coffee table. Maybe it's just clams and coral, but I love it. And I love this calico rug. Okay, okay, good, good. I think, I think my, my observancy skills are off the charts right now. Seeing all the new things. Oh, look at the cat. Okay, so you can put tiny guppies in here. I bet you could put only really, really, really small fish into this end table, or coffee table, excuse me, but I do like it. Probably not great for real life fish, but thankfully this is The Sims and I can enjoy it. Let's see, good patting on the puppers. And then <gasps> look at that dress on the cat. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's actually really cute. She matches her human. And is that a new feline bracelet that I see? Hmm. And is that a hamster necklace? My powers of observation probably are not filling me here. Hmm. I see a lot of new colors too. So a lot of pink hues. Here's that lamp that was a tiger earlier, or maybe it's later when the kid is sleeping and the, the, the wom rat and hamster is like flying into space. I want to go see that actually. So cute little dress, which I actually like uh, much more than I thought I would to be completely honest. Uh, and then we've got the really awesome hat. And I have actually met some dogs who really, really love to wear clothes. So that's perfect for them. And then over here, if you are a hamster lover watching your hamster spin down its adorable little slide, then you can now dress yourself if you wish in a hamster costume, which actually is pretty hilarious. And I wouldn't mind throwing a child's party where I started having people dress up in the full animal costumes more often and be the entertainer. That would be kind of fun. Their job would just be to show up and to entertain and tell jokes. And also guys, look at the detail. In The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, the eyes, I, I don't recall the eyes ever moving on the wom rats, which is what they called the hamster slash guinea pig things. Uh, but this, this expression, there's a lot more expression on this small animal than I was expecting. Look at that. That makes me so happy. And of course they have a lot more personality than you would be expecting too, because apparently they can go to space, which I, I have to see happen. That's perfect for Amber in my, my Sims 4 green family legacy to have a pet that's so hyper smart that it goes into space in the middle of the night when we least expect it. That's just amazing. Look at this. Look at this. I have to see that happen. Oh, I'm very excited. Oh, and look, sure enough, there are the postcards that I was talking about earlier smacked right onto that bulletin board. So it does look like you can indeed use these as postcards, which makes me very happy to see. I'm pretty intrigued, guys. I have to admit, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, and we've got the cute little hedgehog, which is so adorable. Don't throw your hedgehog in the air. Be gentle with the hedgehog. And new costumes, which really I can't, I'm can't. i not going to shake a stick at because some people really love the costumes. I should probably utilize them a little bit more. And they sure as heck have been useful for the custom content modders to be able to throw on horns and hooves and unicorn pieces and outfits on our animals that have already added a lot more depth to how you can play with them and I deeply appreciate and love that. Also, I have to say the uh, the unripe banana outfit for some reason cracks me up. I have no idea why, it just does. So, okay, got lots of new costumes. <laughs> That's so cute. I could see a little girl wanting to do like a picture shoot with her, her puppies that way. That would be so adorable. All right, and then decorating with pet prints. Oh, look at the colors. <gasps> Oh, some little boy would love just like giving his cat. That would be so cute. Like here, here kitty. You could just give him like the most rainbow themed thing in the world. I love it. And litter box. And we do have another new location that your kids could draw drawings. And I would actually love if they could maybe expand what your kids could do there. It would be really fun if they could um, maybe like write letters to their grandparents or something or write letters to their friends. Uh, I guess nowadays, all of you kid, let's just tweet but eventually you have to learn how to use the post office system so it'd be fun if you could do a little bit more but I'm glad to see there's more options uh, to kind of vary up just the way the kids rooms look I really feel like the Sims 4 kids have increasingly and increasingly gotten a better end of the stick when it comes to all of the series so that they can do a little bit more with their life but all right tap dance and hamster gotta say really feeling it i think that i would very much enjoy this pack and i'm very much looking forward to it dun 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 on march 13th 
So I'm looking forward to that, guys, if for no other reason than to find out what the tiny little purple thing is and to send him into space. So that's my very first goal. <laughs> So yes, please let me know what you guys think about this. This is definitely very interesting because this is also the first stuff pack that already requires two, not one, but two expansion packs. Uh, well, the base game and the expansion pack. So you, you can't just have base game. You have to have two things uh, in order to use it. And I'm kind of interested in that model and seeing where it goes from here. Because if that's the case, where does it begin? Where does it end? Because a lot of people might complain about that and there's some some conversation to be had over there about having to own two of the pieces uh, instead of just one of them to be able to play with the new stuff pack. However, I do have to say, it does excite me because each expansion pack and game pack does tend to add a lot of content. What if you could end up, say, having The Sims 4, The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, and get to work, and you could have uh, maybe active careers for your pets kick in. They could kind of repeal that you can't control your pet thing just a teensy bit, uh, or even if you just had to use commands, for instance. And what if you could make like a nursing dog, like a dog that goes with you to a hospital and serves as a therapy dog? or as an assistant there or what if you could have a detective dog or what if you could have like a a research dog who does all sorts of cool canine experiments that would be really fun if you could start mixing and matching and crossing over some of the expansion patch features and just running with it and i'm i'm not saying yay or nay either way just i think it opens up a lot of options that has my mind swirling with ideas of what the pets could do so let me know what you guys think if you were going to create another stuff pack that was an add-on to the sims 4 cats and dogs what would you do reptiles? Would you do the ever popular push for horses? Uh, would it be maybe perhaps something more unique? Like maybe you could do a wildlife rescue pack where you go around cleaning up polluted parts of the fishing areas or you help to like take care of animals that you could find in the bushes that your sims can, can sleep inside of. That would be very interesting too. So I would love to hear some of your guys' ideas down in the comment section and what you would adopt first. Would it be the rat, the hamster, the weird purple thing, or the hedgehog?